1984, wife and I moved to Broomfield. I thought it was a beautiful place to be. It was small. When I moved here, I think there were 17,000 people. One of the reasons I moved into Broomfield was that uh, the, in the first year I was here, the amount of friendly people. Oh, it's a great place to raise family. Probably the, the best place in the world because it was so laid back and there was only one high school. My son went to Broomfield High School. There's a lot for young people to do here. They've got the big library, they've got the swimming pool, they've got trails, they've got a mall they can go get lost in. So a lot of activities if they want to get involved. I love this place. It's gate green, it's so beautiful and peaceful. My wife and I remodeled every room and we took out walls and we built them the way we wanted them. I love the house. It's too big for me, but they're gonna to have to carry me out. I was in the Air Force for four years. That's the first time I've ever seen a computer, is in uh, 1951. I think the most positive change is the open space, the walkways, bicycle paths. Excellent police department that works with the community. We got a wonderful fire department that works with the community. Good morning, how are you? I don't know of another senior center in the whole front range that has this type of a wood shop. This is second home. When I leave the house, this is basically where I come. I love woodwork. It's really a blessing that that wood shop and the people there can help in the community. We build a lot of things for the community, the Veterans Museum. We built all of the first cabinets and lecterns and display cases. I know everybody in here. And uh, if anybody needs a little help, somebody will help them. This one here is dancing in Houston, Texas with my granddaughter at her wedding. This is a book of our 50th anniversary. Here my wife and I are dancing in our 50th. These hibiscus, these are, you know, the Hawaiian flower. And they're big, they're like 10 inches in diameter. They said you can't raise them here, but I do. And uh, my wife just loved that plant. She said, Joe, you're doing exactly what you love to do. She said, don't quit. I'm 84 years old and uh, I'm going pretty good yet. I intend to stay working in the wood shop or anything else that the city might want me to do. I love Broomfield because I have made so many friends here. It's a great town, really. It's a friendly town. You can walk down the street and say hello to somebody and they'll say, why, hello there. It's a good place to be.